What's up guys and girls, Brian Tong here, and I've got two friends here with me, the Nebula Capsule 3 and then the Nebula Mars 3 Air. These are two great offerings for portable projectors, and I featured Nebula's products on this channel before because they are really good, so I've partnered with them again, and I'm gonna break down the differences between these two projectors from their Go Anywhere series. Now first up here, the Capsule 3 and the Mars 3 Air, they're also the first ever portable Google TV based projectors with Netflix officially built in. So you got previous projectors in this size and class and other projectors at this level that have been running the Android TV OS up to this point and not the Google TV OS, that changes here. And then they also have not had official access to the Netflix app, so that is a big deal when it comes to streaming content from one of the largest, most important streamers. So. What I'm gonna do here is we're gonna break these down, and if you're familiar with the Nebula capsule from previous generations, the Capsule 3 brings a similar ultra portable design. Now it weighs in around 800 grams, and it can be easily grabbed with one hand. You just like throw in a backpack or fit it into a side pocket, uh, so you can really take it with you anywhere and everywhere. It's basically the size of a large water bottle, and this is an LED base projector with a brightness of 200 ANSI lumen at a 1080p full HD resolution, so that is gonna be bright enough for most indoor ambient light at lower levels. And the reality is that this is not gonna be able to deal with very, very bright daylight situation. That's not what this portable model is for, but it will look great in low light situations, in dark rooms, late at night at 1080p. Um, it's surprising how clear and how clean the image is. Now it also has an internal battery that can be charged by connecting to its included power adapter. You have a USB-C cable that will go right here. You'll get two and a half hours of juice here, right? This can be charged, but also you can use it with no wires as well. So again, super portable and more than enough juice to get through a movie, really get through a full movie. If you look around here, it also has integrated speakers with Dolby Digital Plus, but you can pair it to a Bluetooth speaker. There's actually a button here that will prompt you to connect over Bluetooth, or you can hardwire in your own speakers. There's an auxiliary port right here. It also has a USB-A port and HDMI if you wanna connect other video sources to it. So think about gaming, handheld devices, um, you know, your laptop, this can do it all. And I mentioned this as a first, right? You're gonna get Google TV as the operating system and all of its smart recommendations that are based on the content that you watch from other video services. You can open up apps with your voice. Open Prime Video. Opening Prime Video and you can build watch lists from the Google TV interface. So it does a good job of recommending relevant programs and content from all the apps that you use. The UI and the interface is clean, and it's just something that you expect. We're seeing Google TV, obviously, on a lot of TVs as well, so this is gonna be very familiar for you. Also, you're gonna get Netflix, right? That is that key killer app that hasn't been on many projectors when it comes to streaming content. So it's now officially here in a pocket size home theater killer. All right, so this Capsule 3, also has vertical and horizontal auto correction. So when you're at an angle, it will auto correct the image for you. So if there's a significant angle change, it will auto calibrate and auto focus as well. There's even a button on the remote here. So let's take a look at the remote here and you'll see the layout is very straightforward. You have your power, you have your Google voice prompt. Um, there's even a button on the remote if you wanna manually prompt the auto correction that I talked about to happen. You have the navigation pad, the select button, and then obviously back, home, uh, you have the settings, volume control, and there's dedicated buttons for Prime Video and Netflix as well. So this remote here, very straightforward and does everything that you need it to do. And then if you look here on the bottom, right, there is a threaded hole here. So you can actually mount this on a tripod or a stand if you don't have anything to rest it on. So this is another way that this is very versatile and can be used anywhere, any place, just basically project what you want to project and voila. So that's the Capsule 3. It retails for $549 and it's the smallest Google TV projector out there today. Okay, now let's bring this guy back in the fold. Let's jump over to the Mars 3 Air. Now this is a slightly larger projector. Um, it's pretty obvious just by looking at it. Uh, it has a handle here to carry it around. You can see up on the top here, it even says the Mars 3 Air. And it also has bigger sounding built-in speakers that fill more of a room and gives you a deeper range of sound. So it makes sense. Uh, this would be a more compelling option to watch movies indoors and outdoors. Also, yes, this is 
a 1080p projector with a brightness of 400 ANSI lumen, which means that it can handle brighter situations better. So look, it's really more for low ambient light or low outdoor light, and it can also handle some medium ambient light, but I just don't want you to expect it to perform really well in bright daylight as well, but it will perform better in brighter situations or slightly brighter situations compared to the Capsule 3. But when you look at this uh, image quality here, you see the footage that I have, it looks excellent, it's really clean, the colors are vivid, and the blacks are really good for a projector as well. It also does more than just the auto correction for the vertical and horizontal with its Intelligent Environment Adaptation 3.0. Now again, I'm gonna change the orientation of the projector and you'll see it does that auto keystone correction to give you that perfect 16 by nine rectangle viewing area, and then it does the autofocus. It can't get easier than that, and it also has auto screen fit, also, if it detects that something's in the way, it has obstacle avoidance, and what it does is it resizes the display just to make sure in case anything is in the way. And just to be clear, in case I forgot, the Capsule 3 has all of these features as well. Now, it does this all in three seconds, right? You can't, again, you can't beat that. Now, you'll still have, down here on the bottom, Okay, you'll still have the threaded hole, so that allows you to, again, connect it to a tripod if you're working you know, with an uneven surface. If you're outside, you wanna have something more stable, this can handle that as well. It's, it's like a little lunchbox. Now, the internal battery still gives you the same two and a half hours of battery juice, same as the Capsule 3 did. And again, this is the first portable projector with a Google TV OS and the first with official support for Netflix. Now, the app works exactly the way that you'd expect it to. The OS is easy to use and navigate. It's laid out just like I talked about with the Capsule 3 the same way. And you'll see you'll have all the major apps that matter from Netflix. Uh, you're going to have YouTube, obviously, Amazon Prime Video. You got Disney Plus. Loki was an amazing series. Just wrap that up. HBO Max is here. YouTube TV, if you're streaming your television, that's here as well. And you get so much more. Now, if you wanna watch Netflix with other projectors, you could buy a dongle adapter for them, but it's built in with these two projectors. It connects via its own power adapter that you will plug in here on the back. It has those larger internal speakers that I talked about with Dolby Digital Plus Audio that just bring more boom. And again, you can still pair it to a Bluetooth speaker or hardwire your own here. You have the auxiliary output there. There's also, again, a USB A port, there's HDMI, so if you have any other sources that you wanna plug in here, like your laptop. If you wanna game on this thing, gaming, yes. You're like, some of you are thinking, oh, it's 1080p, trust me. Gaming looks great on this as well. You're not even gonna flinch. Uh, you can get the image here, I think some, somewhere close to 150 inches as a, you know, a display that big if you owned an actual TV, so, uh, the don't, I would just would not fret about the fact that, oh, it's 1080p, it still looks really, really great. And of course, it's gonna look best in the dark. Even looking at these clips, you're not gonna be saying, man, I wish this was 4K when you're watching content on it. You won't. Now, the Mars 3 Air brings better brightness, it brings better speakers, and this here retails for $599. Now, if you purchase either of these projectors. Right now, Nebula is also giving random people who order a Capsule 3 or a Mars 3 Air a chill box like this one of their own. Now, I opened it up to find a surprise inside for myself. Shall we do the honors? Ooh, ooh okay. I'm gonna imagine this, I don't wanna make assumptions, but here you go. This is the Nebula Capsule 3, right? Fits in your hand, super portable. Here's your remote. You've got all your navigation. Yep, here's the power adapter and cable, and it'll be USB-C. Okay, let's see what's in this other side. It's capsule and chill. Well, let's just chill. Okay, what is this? I'm not, is this a can? Is this a scented candle, guys and gals? Is this, are they trying? Oh, it smells. Honestly, smells like rose, like, like flowery, like romantic-y. <laughs> okay, this is Nebula and Chill with Netflix. Ooh, that's that, that's a candle. If I, <laughs> you have to smell this for yourself. So, wow, Nebula, I did not realize you were going to uh, try and get get me to go there, but you did. Whew. So, you if you want a chill box. If you want a chill box uh, like that, 
You're going to have a chance to get one for yourself through Nebula's website and their lottery system until December the 25th. So there's a breakdown of the Nebula Capsule 3, the Nebula Mars 3 Air, two really solid and capable portable projectors with a 1080p resolution and the first ones to run Google TV with official Netflix support. And if you go to the links below in the description of this video from December 5th, to December the 15th, you can also enjoy a $80 discount when you purchase the Nebula Capsule 3 and a $100 discount when you buy the Mars 3 Air. And remember, if, if you make a purchase now, you'll also have the chance to receive Nebula's exclusive chill box. You don't want to miss out on those special offers. You don't know what the chill box could offer you. But uh, hey, thanks for checking out Nebula's portable projectors that are part of their Go Anywhere series. These are really great projectors that won't break the bank. Now, I'm not going to say these are stocking stuffers. They you know, start around $549, $599, but great Christmas gifts. You got the deal on them. And um, portable movies wherever you go with Netflix, yeah. And the chill box, that might change your holidays if you know what I'm saying. So, hey, thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.